is Ashley back with another video. Before we get into the video, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. So there was some tea between Cardi and Bia yesterday, okay? Because, you know, Bia was going back and forth with Barty Gang because she was liking a few, um, you know, tweets about Cardi B's birthday party, okay? And then, you know, Cardi posted this, move fake, sis, okay? And a lot of people think she's talking about Bia, and I definitely think she is. You know, hypothetically, what if Cardi invited Bia to her birthday party? Okay, and that's why Cardi B is calling her fake. Like, girl, you could have been there. Um, but Bia did not go because she wants to show loyalty towards Nicki Minaj, even though a lot of people that are cool with Nicki were at the event. Winnie Harlow was there. Winnie has a very good relationship with Nikki. Bought her a gift for her son's birthday. Um, Spice performed. Spice, who has a very close relationship with Nikki too. Um, who else was there? Kyle. He tried to hide, but he was there. Kyle from Neighborhood Talk was there. Okay, according to Armand. So with that being said. Um, you know, a lot of people that are cool with, um, Nikki were at the event. So Bia could have went, um, but maybe she just didn't want to, you know, go because she wanted to show loyalty towards Nikki Minaj, which I understand, but I feel like Nikki and Cardi eventually will collaborate. And then what are people going to do then? Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Then people are going to be upset that they were showing so much loyalty. Um, I remember when people thought Cardi B and Nicki were cool back in 2017 after this, the motorsport song, um, Jocelyn Hernandez unfollowed Nicki at that time. Now, I don't know if she refollowed her, but she had unfollowed Nicki because she did not like Cardi B and her come up. And she was jealous that Bodak Yellow was making waves and how her career never picked up. And a lot of people say, you know, Cardi B is what Jocelyn Hernandez wish she was. Okay. Not me. That's what people be saying. Now, if Bia was talking junk about Cardi B behind the scenes, like Megan Thee Stallion, then yes, Bia is fake, okay? Um, if she goes to the party. If Bia was talking about Cardi um, and Kiki at Nikki's house you with Papa Bear on, on Nikki's lap, then yes, Bia would be fake if she went to the party. Um, but if she has remained neutral and she hasn't really said anything to Nikki about Cardi B and whatnot, then, you know, she could have gone. Okay. Um, that's why Nikki looks at Megan sideways because Megan was talking about, I'm going to go write some shit and calling Cardi B little pump and calling Nikki J Cole. Okay. So, you know, she was always throwing shade at Cardi. But then, you know, once she got that, you know, Birkin that Cardi bought her and that feature um, with the WAP song, and now she got another feature coming out with Cardi B, now they best buddies. Now, you know, she's saying Cardi B is her best friend. So, you know, Megan is fake. So let me know what you guys think about that. Do you think... Bia got an invite to, um, you know, Cardi B's birthday party. And that's why she was liking, you know, the tweets thinking, damn, I should have went. Or do you think she was just enjoying seeing pictures of her friends? Now, I wouldn't have cared if she went or not. I mean, a lot of people were there. And like I said, you know, a lot of people that are cool with Nikki were there. And I really don't think Nikki would have cared. I don't think Nikki would have cared that um, people that she's cool with went to Cardi B's birthday party. Okay, it's a birthday party. It's an event. Cardi B throws an event for her birthday each year. Okay, it's not that big of a deal. As long as, you know, they weren't talking junk like Megan Thee Stallion, then I don't think Nikki would look at them sideways. Winnie remains neutral. Tiana Taylor remains neutral. Spice remains neutral. Kyle you know, he flip flops, you know, he's not really as neutral as he claims to be. Um, but you know, most of the people that Nikki's cool with, they remain neutral. Okay. So let me know what you guys think about that. I did find it interesting. 
Um, and I think Bia probably wanted to go to that party. Okay. Make some connections. Okay. And I wouldn't be shocked if Bia and Cardi collaborate in the future. And I would not be shocked if Nikki and Cardi collaborate in the future. Okay. And then once Nikki and Cardi collaborate, I don't think that they'll ever be friends or a hundred percent cool, but once they collaborate, what is Megan Thee Stallion going to do? She's going to look dumb. Okay. Moving on to Nicki Minaj and her vindication that I've been speaking on before she filed the paperwork, okay, to get this thrown out, okay, before her and her lawyer filed that paperwork to get this lawsuit dismissed. I already spoke about vindication, okay, and some of you guys were laughing at me in the comments, but what a lot of people don't realize is there is little to no evidence that Nikki was allegedly harassing this girl. Okay? Little to no evidence. You know, people have been telling me that um, you know, um, you know, she went to the police or she went to the marshals, okay? But if that was the case, why would they allow Kenny to be out and about? I just find it so odd that he would not be in the clink, okay? I mean, he has, you know, a heavy past. He is an N-word, okay? So I don't understand why they would just say, oh, okay. Oh, you don't want to, you don't want to press, you don't want to press charges? Okay. Like, you know, that is, that's just weird to me. On top of that, you know, he filed the wrong paperwork, Tyrone, because he was too busy being on Instagram, you know, talking junk about Nicki Minaj. Okay. Um, he was replying to Baller Alert saying that it's not 15 mil, it's 20, but you filed the wrong paperwork. And I, I think the default got thrown out. So now it's zero mil. You're not getting anything. Okay. Um, and like I said before, you know, you need evidence to push this case through and I don't see any. Okay. Um, I just see, you know, allegedly her saying happy birthday to Cardi B. I see, you know, Tyrone being messy underneath the comments. I see interviews, but I don't see any evidence supporting these claims. And that's what you need to push a case for it. Okay, you can't just do he said, she said. Okay, um, I think that this case is definitely going to get dismissed. Okay, I don't really think that this case is going to move forward. Um, even if it doesn't get dismissed right away, I think eventually the judge will see that this is just a money grab. Because if your safety is so important, people will be locked up. You can have millions, but you're still going to have to roam around the 50 states to feel safe. And really, Jen is the victim of all of this because Tyrone is using Jen, okay? Um, just like how he tried to use the victims for the T.I. and Tiny case, allegedly, okay? But I feel bad for Jen because she allowed Tyrone a one-star lawyer to use her story to get clout. And if Nikki hasn't already, I think she should file a lawsuit, okay? Because there was a certain lawyer underneath the shade room comments, you know, talking junk, okay? That, that was unprofessional. A really good lawyer doesn't do that. On top of that, you know, a lot of people were wondering why aren't certain bloggers talking about this situation? Well, one, it's a legal issue, okay? I'm surprised Team Z didn't talk about it. Maybe they did and I missed it. But, you know, the bigger blogs, you know, they're going to show love to the celebrities that contact them behind the scenes, okay? They're going to show love to the artists that send them music, or let them listen to music, give them some insight or tea. And so that's why, um, you know, a lot of these bigger blogs, they don't mess with Nikki. Because Nikki really don't talk to 
a lot of the bigger blogs, like, um, you know, the shave room, neighborhood talk. She don't really talk to Kyle like that. So Cardi inviting them to events, talking to them behind the scenes, it really strokes their ego. And so that's why a lot of these other blogs, these bigger blogs, they don't show Nikki any courtesy or any positivity when she wins something or when she's accomplished something or if, you know, this lawsuit is in her favor. <laughs> you know, they're not going to talk about that because Nikki don't really acknowledge them. Okay, so that's the reason why these bigger blogs don't pay uh, Nikki in a, in a positive light. And why they are so quick to post only certain things about Nicki Minaj. But when the vindication happens, I wonder what are they going to post then. Anyway, like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Have a great day.